Hey everybody, it's Doug here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to our playthrough of Cthulhu Death May Die. We are playing, oh I don't remember the name of the scenario, but the first scenario in the game, it's uh, something, something or other, you know, uh, Blasphemous Alchemy, Season 1, Episode 1. And we are playing against Haster. And uh, I want to do a couple corrections first. Now, I should have done these corrections in the last episode, but I had already filmed it, so I couldn't. Uh, one thing I'll talk about is the fire axe. So, the fire axe is being held by Morgan. Something I, I should have kept reading after the dice, because it says if you have the bra brawling skill, which he does not. So, should have taken the fire extinguisher, but it's too late. We got the fire axe. And, uh, but he still got the lab notes. And the lab notes clearly state, uh, gain two dice rolls. Uh, if you have a student, at least one student and an animal companion, and he does. He has the grad student, Charles. So, uh, that's that. And then also, I, I was actually summoning, when Hoster was summoning, I got one too many uh, cultists out. But that's okay. We'll just reduce it by one. That is a fair thing to do. And then we're going to continue on with our gameplay. So, otherwise, um, you know, first game, a blind playthrough, just playing with the rules as they are. So, got to get used to it. But it's a pretty straightforward game, so I'm not doing horrible mistakes or anything, but uh, just a couple little ones, and now we're ready to, to carry on. I think we're going to start our, our game with Morgan, I don't know, maybe Fatima, I'm not sure. Let's go to the table and take a look. Here's what we know, they are in the basement. There's fire, there's all kinds of craziness going on. We're not heavily wounded. We're in pretty good shape. We do need to kill these guys. If I go with, um, if I go with Morgan, he he might be able to go in here and do a whopper load of damage, bringing those other two with him. But that could result in him taking a lot of damage. Now he does have toughness. However, he's one away from insanity. So if I get one insanity on him, I increase his toughness. We can guarantee that we can reduce some damage, because um, that's probably the best thing that we could do. Uh, also, we have protector, but that's not really good. That hasn't really been that helpful to us at this point in time. Haven't needed it. So anyway, I think we're going to start by activating Morgan. Now he gets three actions. He's going to get some fire on him because what he's going to do is move to here, taking the fire with, or not taking the fire with him, rather, but taking a fire token onto his character board. So we've done that. Now he is going to have both of these fine fellows follow him. Uh, into that space, leaving Fatima by herself, which is fine. Now, uh, what we're going to do when we get in there, you can see there's a lot going on. We're going to make some attack rolls. Um, we got two more actions left, and I, th I think we can only kill two of them. If I'm not mistaken, when you attack, you can only attack one creature. I'm going to double check that so it's not like accumulation of your dice. Uh, I just want to make sure that whether or not that's true. Target a single enemy in your space, yeah. So he might take some damage. We've got to be careful there. We'll see if he can pull this off or not. Let's. Uh, we're going to definitely get rid of the Bayaki and the Cultist, the um, um, Haster Disciple that are in that space right now. And he does get three dice, and he does get these two dice for the lab notes. I'm looking to see if he's got anything else. Remember, he's got the Amulet of Nagal. If you would take wounds from fire, you may instead deal that many wounds to one enemy in your space. So he's going to get to do that as well. That is a useful thing. So for his, this is his second action. He is going to do that. And what does he get? Well, he got enough. I'm sorry. I was kill. I would have. I was attacking the Bayaki. That was the first thing I wanted to do. Was get. And I, I said that, but I should have qualified it. Um, he did get three hits, but he did get one insanity. That is perfect, because now Morgan is going to uh, not only go insane a little bit, but level up. First thing we're going to do is he did do three points of damage, which is enough to kill the Bayaki. So we haven't been able to see a Bayaki attack back yet. Not complaining about that. It is dead. And then we are going to suffer one sanity damage. Now, it doesn't say anywhere. It says I have to take cards out till I even them out. I believe I can take this out. According to the rules, it doesn't specify. It seems a little bit cheating, taking out the guilty conscious to, to deal with his obsessive disorder. But it says, move your stress meter to match your health. Okay, well that's good. Our stress goes down one. Then, um, then discard discovery cards as needed until you have the same number of cards on each side. It doesn't say at random. It says discard. I can do them in what order I want. On So I have two here and two there. He is satisfied that requirement. 
And that was his second action. So now we're going to get to level him up, and I do believe we're going to level up his toughness. So it's instead, you, and so you have instead of this, you may reduce wounds taken and loss of sanity by one when attacked by a by a, attacked or rolling fire. So we're going to get to do that on each attack and each fire roll. So we're pretty good there. We do have another attack, and we're going to try and take down the um, the Hastor Disciple that's there with us. And we do not succeed. Well, we do. We got two. That's enough. I don't like this roll very much. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend a stress to re-roll this one. And that's worse. Um, I think we'll spend another stress to re-roll. Well, we'll just take the two sanity hits. That's two more sanity, so he's up a little higher, but we're going to kill that guy for sure. And he is gone, so we killed the disciple there. That's pretty good, because we do have to keep on trucking to get this done. Uh, but at least that's all his actions. That leaves four cultists, five cultists in his space there. So he's going to get walloped on quite a bit. We'll see how this plays out. This could be a really bad move on my part, counting on that toughness. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this now. So that is the end of his round. Right, we've done all of our actions. Okay, we're going to go to his Mythos phase. We know that these Mythos cards are never good, and we just shuffle them up. Let me see if we get Lab Accident. Great. Each figure in a space with a lab, an undestroyed lab, takes one wound. Well, that's every. That's a lot of people. So uh, we're going to take one wound for uh, Morgan. That puts him at three wounds. And then it says, also each investigator with a guilty conscience loses two stress. For each stress the candidate cannot take, he takes a wound. Well, I think... I'm playing it out, man. I got rid of that guilty conscience from the, his insanity. It seems like it makes sense to me. But one thing we do have to do is do some damage. This is good, actually. Cause all these guys are taking, um, not threes, sorry, got the wrong size out there, are taking hits for each one of these bad guys. Are all at one point. That was helpful, actually. And even though it did hurt Morgan, it hurt them more. And I have toughness, right? It's a, that's not an attack, though. Each figure in the space takes one wound. It's not an attack, so I can't reduce that. But that's okay. I, I can take a life on the grad student, but then I wouldn't be able to use the lab notes. So I don't want to do that. Okay, now that we have done his card, which, by the way, uh, has a symbol, symbol of Haster on it, so we're about to summon Haster. He's got one more, one more uh, leap, and he'll be coming onto the board, and that's not good for us. Uh, we are going to then investigate or fight. We're going to have to fight because we've got a lot of people in our space. Uh, the cultists have two um, two dice to roll. So cultist number one uh, does nothing because we can block one wound. Cultist number two does nothing because he can block one wound. Number three uh, does actually do a hit. So he can be killed at this point. Number four, nothing. And number five... Uh, one nothing. So we survived that whole ordeal. We are close to death, but we did not die. Yay. All right. Well, uh, now we're going to resolve his end of round event. Well, one, one of those is fire. So it, his um, amulet of Nagal. If you would take a wound from a, from fire, you may instead deal that many wounds to one enemy in your space. So one of these guys is kaput. It is gone. So we killed a cultist with that. And now we're going on to Fatima's turn. She is going to do something hopefully very clever, though I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, so she's a little hurt, but that's okay. we got to kill these cultists because we don't want our guy dying. And, of course, we uh, get rid of his fire token because his amulet um, helped him. Now, what can she do that's going to be useful here, like super useful? Um, she, I think she just needs to go in and do her thing. So we're going to move first. So we're going to move one. That means she is going to have a fire token. We'll see if that damages her on her round. And then she's going to do a similar event. She's going to attack, but unfortunately she's only got these three dice to do that with. So, I, I mean, she should be able to kill uh, at least two of these clowns, right? We'll see. We'll see. Remember, she gets to count those symbols as well. So let's go roll those dice. Hopefully we get down to two. Well, uh, <laughs> Okay, she did kill it for sure. I'm going to re-roll this one with a stress. She has no stress, so we're okay there. That's worse. She'll do it again. I'm not rolling really well on this part, and that's better. Okay, so we took one sanity damage, one insanity, but 
because these guys are damaged, we're just going to kill them off with one hit. So we got him pretty good. Even We got like three hits, I think, or two. I think we got two hits. Now we got three because she upgraded her Arcane Mastery. So all these, all the, the uh, Elder Signs count. Okay, then she's going to get one more roll. She should kill this other guy. She succeeds with one hit. That is enough to do him in. So we're going to kill this clown here. He is gone. And we've almost cleared it out. But that's it. That's all her actions. Whew, that's not great, guys. It's not great. Um, we're down to two. She can take the hits, I think. We'll see. We'll, we'll have to see. All right, let's uh, get her Mythos card. Remember, she gets to draw two and keep one. This was a risky move, I think, doing that the way we did it. But I want, I need to clear that out so we can destroy one. We need to destroy one more, just one more lab. And then we'll be able to defeat Hoster. So uh, let's see. So this one and this one, we're definitely going to take the... If you are in the same space as Hoster, we're not. Or a Hoster Disciple, we're not. So we're going to go down here. If you're not in the same space, you gain a yellow sign token. Well, I think she's going to have to take that because... I don't think we want to do this conflagration. Uh, to add a fire token to our space. Doesn't help us. I think we're going to do this one. That's a bummer. See, another yellow sign. She does have four, so that's I have a feeling that's gonna come back to haunt us. This will go on the bottom of the deck. And that's the end of her mythos phase. So it didn't do much. That's good. Now she's going out to defend against those two cultists. She can sacrifice um, her companions if she gets takes too many wounds. So we're okay. We should survive. She got nothing on the first hit from the cultists, and on the second one, she she got nothing. So, wow, the, the cultists missed us. We are in that space, and we are going to get to go back around to Morgan. Thank goodness. All right, well, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get on with Morgan, then. He's going to attack these two cultists and get this done. But first, I do think he's going to rest for his first action. So we're going to go one, two, three, and get him fully rested up. He's in a good place. Good place. Okay, now we're going to attack. Remember, he gets three dice plus these two for the lab notes. Let's see what we can do these guys in. Well, we got one hit. That's all it takes to kill one of them. We did get a tentacle. I think I'm going to burn a stress to get, try and get rid of this. And he does. So one hit will kill another cultist. Thankfully, that lab explosion is paying off for us, right? Okay, and now we're going to do one more attack from Morgan and see if he can wallop on some guys. All right, well, um, yeah, we got him. Now, again, I think I'm going to burn the last of his stress to do this. And it worked. Okay, good, good. We took no sanity damage and took out the final cultist in that space. We we're in good place. That's the end of his, his turn, though, so we're going to have to draw his Mythos card. He is super stressed out, which is not good because um, if we get a good item down here, we won't be able to keep it sometimes. You know, let's see what he gets for his Mythos card. I don't know what we're going to do. Huh. Okay. That's a bummer. All right, well, Haster Disciples. Um, that means they're going to attack because they're going to move to... All right, uh, each Haster Disciple moves two spaces towards you, okay, and then we're going to summon a Haster Disciple in the orange space, and this will count toward the next one. Well, that was not what we wanted to happen. These guys are going to move one down the stairs, bring them here, then they're going to move one into here. This bites. Those guys are tougher. Um, at least Morgan's healthy, so we, we'll be able to take it. But uh, that was his Mythos card, and then, of course, we have to summon one back upstairs in that yellow spawn point, which I put in there. That's the same hallway. So let's see if he can pull this off and, and get some um, some things done. But that's they're going to attack him now, because that was the end of his Mythos phase. So he's not going to get to investigate, but he will have to fight. All right, he's getting attacked by three dice uh, from the... Uh, uh, Hoster Disciple, and it says if you, if this, if this deals you any wounds, choose one, take yellow sign, summon a cultist in the space. It, it does not attack this turn. So we'll see how we do this. So he did take a hit. Um, he will not take that hit. It says if it does a wound, right? If you, if it deals you any wounds. So his toughness, instead you may reduce wounds taken and loss of sanity by one when attacked by fire uh, by, or roll, rolling or by fire. So we we uh, did not take that. Let's see what the next one does. Well, the next one didn't hit at all. So, wow, he got lucky there. So Morgan didn't get hit, but he can't... He didn't get to take anything else, and he doesn't have any fire tokens to resolve, so it's going to be the end of his round. And now we're going to Fatima. Well, I think that she is going to have to first... Um, I think she's going to heal as well for a first action, putting her down to no wounds. That's two. 
and there's just one stress. So she's got some things she can do. And then she's going to attack the two cultists. But she only has her base dice, so we'll see how she gets on with this. Wow, three hits on one of the Hoster Disciples. It is a kaput. That was a great roll. That one's gone. They only take two. And then the next one, we'll see if we can get it killed. That'll be all her actions again, so we're kind of burning it. We didn't. We only did one hit. So we're going to have to take a stress. Remember, she gets... She gets... Uh, these are successes. And that was bumped. This was nothing, so we got that. We're going to burn another stress and re-roll this one. And we got it. Okay, so we got in with two hits. And that's that. So that is the end of her turn, though, unfortunately. So we, we cleared out a bunch of stuff. I just, I don't think it's, it's it, they're going to keep coming. All right, let's uh, move on to our Mythos phase, then. That was really unfortunate. I was really hoping to destroy that lab equipment this turn. And she didn't get any... Wait, wait, that was her actions. She does get... So we got to draw our Mythos cards. Yeah, what am, I, what am I doing? We're not done. Okay, we're going to draw two. Okay, we don't want the... Oh, they're both going to move him. Move each elder one. Move the elder one and each monster one space towards the uh, towards an undestroyed lab. Uh, okay, this is another disciple moves. Gosh, okay, this one's better. So we'll take this one. This one's going to go to the bottom of the deck, and we are going to a activate Hastur, and then we're going to do this. So let's uh, we're going to summon one of these guys to the first thing we're going to do is move one. Uh, one space towards the investigators. <laughs> I call them investigators. Okay, he goes right there, and then I summon the other one back at the blue spawn point, which has a bunch of cultists in it. So that's the end of that, but we do have to do Hastur. Okay, well, so here's the big deal. He moves there, which means he is going to come out on the board. Um, when you advance Hastur, uh, we're going to move to the next stage, I believe. Uh, when revealed, some. so yeah... Um, you gain yellow sign, displacement. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. I want to double check something before I do this. Okay, yes, he is being summoned to, to our world. He is coming. We now have fewer turns to deal with him. So this is going to go to the side. We're going to put that up there. And we're going to look at this. Now you can see that we have not destroyed that lab yet. So we have to do that before we can take him on. And it says, when revealed, summon Hastur into your space. Then summon one Hastur disciple at the nearest gate. Okay, well, so here's how that's going to happen, flow. He is going to appear here in this space with us. That's bad. You notice that there's a red gate there, so that means we're going to have him appear too. We're just going to have to take out that lab equipment so we can damage him. Otherwise, we can't. So this is revealed. So it says, uh, then it says, monsters and cultists gain a green die when attacking if their target has two or more yellow signs. Well, that's both of us. So this is not a good thing. This is where we start to lose the game. Uh, but he has been summoned, and we have done everything else on his card, so that is it. Uh, he does not attack this turn. That was, uh, well, I take it back. I believe that he will. Yeah, because that was um, uh, Fatima's Mythos card, right? Yes, it was. So we are going to have to have him attack her. He's going to do that. Luckily, she healed. Hoster is not a monster or old one, so he's not going to get the extra dice for himself, but he is going to attack, and he oh, three hits on Fatima. So I think she's just going to have to take it. There's really nothing she can do about it. Okay, one, two, three. That was really rough. She's only got two hits left. Then we got the cultist there. Guess what? He's going to roll four dice because he is... Nope. A disciple is not a cultist. So he's going to get three dice. The disciple's going to get three dice on her, I think. And that is going to count as two more hits. That's going to kill her unless I can do something. Now, Haster is summoned, so guess what? She can die. I uh, just don't want her to. I may have to sacrifice... Yeah, we're going to sacrifice Jerome. We're going to take one hit and then poor Jerome, the janitor, assistant janitor, is going down. And that's where we're. That's where those two attacks came in on Fatima. That's going to end Fatima's turn. Now we're on to uh, Morgan again. So I think the first thing we're going to do is Morgan is going to attack um, the lab. He can't attack Hoster yet. We have to destroy three labs. So he's going to attack the lab, four labs rather. But we only have three down right now. So we're going to do that. He's going to get the lab notes still. 
still has the grad student. Let's see what he can do here. Well, that's good. That's four hits. No, that's two hits. So do we, we can't take any stress because he's fully stressed right now. So um, we'll do two hits to it on his first attack. So the lab takes two hits. On his second roll, he's going to do that again. And he will get multiple, he will destroy it. He does take another sanity. He's almost ready for another uh, uh, sanity issue or level up. He's got one away from that, but that gives him an extra die too. However, he did destroy the lab. So we're going to see what happens on his second attack when he destroys this lab. It's probably going to do damage. Uh, safe collapse. Heal all your stress. Whoa, good job, Morgan. Healed all the stress when the lab didn't blow up. So he's feeling pretty good. And on his last attack, he is going to attack Hoster. Or does he want to attack the cultist? No, we gotta do we gotta do the damage to Hoster. She Fatima can attack the cultist. Uh, I mean he's gonna get attacked by the cultist. He's not gonna be able to kill well attack the cultist. So three plus two. Or the Hoster disciple rather. And we easily killed it. Wow, man, I should, this would have been five damage to Haster, but I made my choice and killed that guy instead to try and avoid the effects of Haster killing us, or, uh, or both of them attacking him. So that is it. Now we're going to do his Mythos card. And that was a regrettable dice roll. All those hits. Wow. Okay, well, anyway, let's see what happens here. Student gone mad. If you have any student companions, discard one student and summon one cultist in your space. Well, that could not have come at a worse time. Because that means Morgan has to get rid of Charles. So, and that means that the lab notes are no longer in effect because we only gain the, the rolls if we have a student or animal companion. And we can't use a fire axe. So that just really took out the effectiveness of, Charles, of Morgan right there. And uh, yeah, that, that was really not good for us. It is what it is though. So he lost that. That's all that happened. Now, Hoster is going to hit back with three dice. So, let's see what happens here now. He's uh, in really good shape. He's got no stress. Uh, wow, he, got, he did not hit. Does Hoster... Do old ones always hit on a... Mm, doesn't say. I'm going to say no, he didn't hit. Maybe I should look that up just to see if old ones always count Elder Signs. They probably don't because Elder Signs are bad for them. They're good for us. So um, I don't think that's going to be true. I mean, I'm going to look at it just, just to be true, just to make sure. Elder One, Elder One on end of turn effects. Does he have an end of turn effect? We should check that out. Now, let's see. No, he doesn't. Okay. And okay, that's that. So uh, he did not do any damage to Morgan. Yay. All right, we're going to move on to Fatima. She is going to. Uh, lay into, um, she's hurt really bad. So the first thing she's going to do is heal. One, two, three. Then for her next actions, she's going to drink up the whiskey, discard, discard to heal all of your stress and guilty conscience cards. We don't have one, but now she has plenty of stress. And then she's going to, to battle uh, Hoster. So her second action, will, her second and third action will be to fight. Okay, she doesn't have any special things that she gets to have, so that's two hits and uh, one sanity. She's one away from a psychotic break, but she does do two hits to Hoster. I'm just going to take the two hits and put it next to him there, or put it on his sheet, rather. He takes two hits, and then for her last action, let's see what she gets. An Elder Sign. I think we're going to spend a stress to re-roll this blank and see if we can get a hit. Nope, we're going to re-roll it again. Well... Nope, she'll do damage to Morgan. We don't want to do that. So she's going to take another stress. And, wow. Um, she Because she will do another three points to Hoster. Put him up to five. And then she will have her psychotic her psychotic break, uh, which will do two damage to every figure in there. Uh, Morgan will only take one. I think we're going to let that go. So we're going to do that. She's going to get a psychotic break, which also levels her up. But right now we're going to we're going to do the, what happens from her getting this attack. So, we've got another three damage on our Elder One. Now, remember, we have to kill him a couple times, or defeat him a couple of times. And then this triggers. Move to the nearest space with at least one figure. We're already in it. It says that. So, uh, do, if there is, or if it has another figure, do not move. Then deal two wounds to all figures in your space. Okay. 
I think he's taking that, so he took two wounds, but then so did Hostor, so we're going to say, we're going to leave that there and put another three, so he's taken quite a few hits, and that is going to end her round. She's, she did good, she did good, but we got to level her up too. I have to remember to heal her two stress when she draws her Mythos cards. This one it says instead, if you draw two cards to choose from, yeah, see this is different, it one to play, and one, if you draw two cards to choose from, heal all your stress, that's pretty powerful. Or we can do this here, heal one stress for each Elder Sign you can, so we're going to do that, that's that's too good. So we're going to do that, she, she leveled up her Arcane Mastery again. Since we summoned Hoster last turn, I have to shuffle up all the Mythos cards. Make sure that she's got fresh cards to get killed by. This is where the game gets tough for us and we might lose because we, we haven't even dealt with that Fire Vampire. It hasn't moved yet. The cards haven't said anything about I've been avoiding the monster movement, so it's just been sitting there. But that doesn't mean it's not going to move. And I want to make sure these get really mixed up. Okay. I think these are good. All right. Do that. We're gonna draw one. That's bad. That's there. See, there you go. And two monsters in the labs. Each fire vampire and Bayaki move one space towards you. That's bad. Summon a fire vampire. Summon a Bayaki. Or each fire vampire moves one space towards you, then places a fire token in their space, and then summon a fire fire vampire at the yellow space. Hmm. I think we'll have to do this one. He's already summoned, so it doesn't do anything. Now, if he moves again, it will. But I think we're going to. Discard this one, and uh, just as I said, so we're we're forced to deal with the fire vampire. So let's do that. This could be the round that Fatima goes down. He moves into there. He drops a fire token, not a crisis because we're not moving right now. Um, but then we also summon the second one, the second fire vampire. Back upstairs in this hallway, it comes forth. Okay, now that was the end of her that round. So now we got a fight. We got two attacks coming in on her. One from the fire vampire. One from uh, the hoster. And the fire vampire is going to roll uh, two. Yeah, he's got. Wow, he's got a lot of dice. Because hoster is there, uh, the monsters uh, and cultists, when attacking, if their target has two or more yellow signs, is going to get an extra die. So yep. So the fire vampire gets two, one. And one. So these. This is the fire vampire's attack on Fatima. Wow. <laughs> um, guardian. I can do that if an investigator in your space is attacked. You may redirect re redirect the attack to you before the roll. So I didn't do that. I screwed up on that one, and she is dead. I there's. I couldn't stop that to save my life. Um, she could get rid of Warren Gates. That will reduce her mastery one down. Um, don't think she can do it. Can we? Hold on, I gotta look at something real quick. We might be able to avoid some of this. Okay, she's got to burn some stress here. So we'll burn a stress to reroll this. Okay, that's better. We'll burn another stress to reroll this. That's even better. We'll burn another stress. This is our last one to reroll this. Okay, one hit, one sanity. Not bad. Um, the by that that was the Bayaki. It says when it attacked first place a fire token in this in its space. So it's placing another fire token. Or when attacked, not when it attacks. So it did not do that. Okay, we haven't attacked it yet. But she managed to survive. She's going to take one hit and one sanity. So here we go. She took a hit. She took another sanity. She is getting to roll an extra dice, though. That's good. That wasn't it. Remember, Hostor has got three green dice. He's going to hit two. Oh, my Lord. Well, that's two hits on her. So she's still alive. And we didn't have to kill Warren Gates yet. But that was pretty darn rough. And that is going to be the end of her turn. So she's near death. All right, so uh, we're going to go to Morgan now. Oh, end of return effects. She, she has a fire token I forgot to roll for, so we're going to have to roll for that. Let's do that. That could be the death of her, right? No, it's not, but she did take another sanity, so we're okay there. All right, um, now we're going to go on to Morgan. Morgan is going to uh, attack the fire vampire. Um, he is going to just be doing three dice. He lost his lab notes. Um, he does not do four dice yet because he, doesn't have, he didn't upgrade um, again yet. But he is going to do one, two points of damage and take a sanity. I think we'll take that because, uh, yeah, 
Yeah. We're going to have to get rid of the lab notes. But that's okay. Let's go look at this. I really want the extra die, so I think it's worth it because we can't get those back right now anyway. So those are gone because we have to do this. So first off, match your stress to your health, right? Move your stress to match your health. That's not good. That was actually bad this time. But then we're going to go up one here. It means we're going to get the level up. I, I balanced out. So we have one card on each side. We've got the amulet and the goal and the fire axe. Not helpful. Um, then we're going to get the level up. And I think, uh, let's look at toughness. Instead, you may reduce wounds, tokens, and loss from of sanity by any form. Okay, any source. We'll do that. We're going to move that up there. Okay, so that's what he did for his level up. And he did two points of damage to the fire vampire. Okay, let's uh, continue on and take his third action. Probably should be to rest, but I'd really like to kill the fire vampire. Oh, and that puts another fire token in our space. Let's see what he gets there. Okay, he's going to burn a stress to re-roll this one. Okay, that didn't help. He's going to burn... No. Yeah, he'll burn, he'll burn another stress to, to roll this blank. No. So one hit. So three hits total on the fire vampire. And I guess another fire token. It says every time, right? When, oh, when it attacks, first place a fire token. So I was right to only place one last time when it attacked. There's two there. Okay, we're okay. But it's got three points of damage, not enough to kill it. One away from killing it. So now we've got to continue with the, the mess. I have a feeling we're in a bad place. We're not going to win. Great. So another one of those, and the nearest disciple moves too. So we're going to have the nearest disciple move into his space, and we're going to summon a disi disciple thread space. So look what just happened to us. This couldn't have been any worse. And we have two more cards for him moving on the track. But this guy goes here. There's the guy... Um, uh, then we summon one here at the red space. So look what just happened. Our, our scenario just got ridiculous. Hey, okay, well that was his Mythos card. At least that's over. Now he's got to fend off the attacks of the two creatures, the Fire Vampire and Hastor. So we're going to place another Fire Token here because so says the Fire Vampire. And then the Fire Vampire is going to attack again with two, one, and one for, being in this, for having Hastor on the board. Um, three hits, not good. Morgan cannot take any stress. He does, however, reduce one of those. So he takes two, and he's still alive, but he's going to take the hits from uh, um, Hastur as well, it looks like. So he's going to roll, Hastur's going to roll these three. <laughs> two hits. So he takes one more hit. Um, he can't... Oh, well, here we go. It's the end of this. Morgan is dead. So, let's see. Um, I haven't look this up yet. What happens when Morgan, when a character dies? Uh, investigator death. Death of an investigator. When an investigator is killed or consumed by madness, the game immediately loses if the Elder One is still on the summoning so tracks. Not. If the investigator died during their turn, skip all the following turn phases except for the check mythos discard pile phase. Okay, well I don't know what that is. If there are three Elder One summoning symbols, the Elder One advances. Okay, nah, that's not happening. Okay, so he just dead. He dead. Alright, goodbye Morgan. Sorry. He is kaput. Okay, well, now we're going to go on to Fatima. She's in serious, serious trouble. I don't know really what she can do to prevent anything at this point. But what happens if we kill Hoster? I have no idea. She's going to take her first action to heal. She will get three wounds back. Um, she won't have any stress to speak of. But wait, she hasn't drawn her methods cards yet. No, she does have, she does have a little stress. Two exactly. Okay, she has two stress open to her, and she healed. Now she is going to attack the fire vampire first. Um, a success and a sanity. She's going to take the sanity because she gets another one. Oh, and I'm supposed to roll another die now. So there we go. That's a, a hit and a hit and a sanity. So two hits on the fire vampire. That will kill it. It is off the board. Okay, that was her first action. Second action. Third action. She is going to kill she's gonna hit hit uh, Hoster and the reason why she's gonna do that is because she gets one more sanity she's gonna have another psychotic break and hit everything in the thing and kill both those cultists so hopefully that happens it does not so she's gonna burn a stress actually this is crazy she just did four hits to Hoster but she's gonna burn a stress to do this no four hits do, do I do it again yeah let's do it again come on no <laughs> I wanted to have her go crazy and unleash hell on those two cultists with her, 
her uh, psychotic outbreaks. But she didn't. She did four damage to Hoster instead. So, and that leaves him one away from b the killing this this incarnation of him. So he's still up. That is about the worst possible scenario that could have happened in that in this circumstance. <sighs> okay. Well, here we go. I'm for her mythos phase. She's going to draw two cards, and let's see what happens. Well, we're going to have ho oh, man, both of them. I think we're doing this one. Might as well. Each each hoster disciple moves one space towards you. Okay, they're both two are already in the space, so I have moved one of them, and then summon a hoster disciple at the blue summoning circle upstairs. I have done that. Here's the scenario. I saw this guy moved from here to here, and this guy popped up here. So that's all that happened there. However. Um, we're going to move the track down one. It, Hoster doesn't do anything at this point, but if we can't defeat him before he gets to here, then we're going to lose anyway. Um, we pretty much lost. Um, and uh, we're going to discard that other one. That's going to give us, let me see, uh, um, two stress, right? So she got two stress back. That might help her live a little longer. We're in serious trouble, though. Look at that. What a mess. Okay, let's do the two Hoster Disciples first. They got three green dice. They're likely to kill her. That was three hits. I, I, I am walloping on my characters. Okay, so we're going to take out... Uh, well, she's got stress. She's going to burn a stress to get rid of this. Okay, that's helpful. So now we're down to two hits. She'll burn another stress to do this one. Not helpful. So, so two hits still. That means she is still alive. She's not going to do anything. She's okay. But that was only one of the cultists. Now she has no stress. So the second cultist got one hit. She'll just take it. She's still alive. Now she can't take much from Hoster, though. And Hoster is going to roll three dice as well. Ah, shoot. I need to roll two more dice for the cultists. So the first, in the first one, it was a miss. Second one, it was... Okay, well, that's okay. Because uh, Hoster is giving them an extra dice. I... I don't know if that's true. The Hoster Disciples, I don't think, get that, but I rolled it anyway. And then Hoster himself is going to attack with three dice. All three hit, and she's got one, st no stress, no ability to take this damage. That's the end of the game. All we would have had to have happen is this go up one, all those cultists would have been gone, and Hoster would have been killed. At least for the first rendition. So that would have helped her, but it didn't. Even if I take the wounds and get this guy we still have one wound left over so that's going to put her in the grave so we have lost the scenario guys um, i heard that that happens a lot that is a very common event is that we lose the scenario but we're not done with this game yet we are not i think we're going to do something else uh, in the next episode we'll see but yeah um we all lose the game when one of the following happens. Investigators killed or is consumed by mans before. Yeah, all investigators are killed. Yep. Progression token reaches the 8th level. So we have died, unfortunately. Fatima and Morgan did not succeed, and Hoster was summoned to the earth. What a drag. We were doing so well. Oh, well. Guys, this, uh, that, that was um, the, our first game of Cthulhu, Death May Die. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you continue to come back and watch some more, because we're going to do some more. So please like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Talk to you soon.